this past week we've been trying to find a place to go swimming in our area because we can't really do that because of the virus because the beach is so crowded we can't go to the beach yeah normally we'd be going to normally the beach going pretty to much beach. like every week so instead we're trying to find a place like to swim in a creek or a lake or something and go uh, maybe a river some, maybe river yeah maybe some cliff jumping and so this is kind of like our adventure of the past seven days or so trying yeah. to find a place to it's been, swim it's been good it's been it's been tough but in the end it turned out okay so just watch our video and see what happens All right, so we're out trying to find a swimming place, like sort of cliff jumping place that I found online, like a swimming hole, yeah. And we just uh, walked down some abandoned railroad tracks, sketchy ran abandoned railroad tracks across a railroad bridge. It's sketchy, the bridge part. Was the bridge sketchy. part was not sketchy, it. not the tracks. But we're trying to trying to find it. It's not working out so far. It looks like they're turning this railroad into a trail. We just got to the end of the railroad, and it's all graveled up into like a trail. So we will update you when, Hopefully. if we find the, the trail. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> We're back at the same spot on the trail. So we walked all the way down each side and I, I looked up a video on YouTube. They're pretty sure that they, when they built this new like railroad tunnel thing, they filled in the jumping spot. So yeah, so now it's really, uh, we think it's, this. it's really uh, shallow now and it's uh, impassable for jumping. So. We'll let you know if we confirm that. So, pretty sure this is the spot, and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is a brand new tunnel that they built for this construction project they're doing. And I think that when they did this tunnel, they put in these new rocks here, and you can't really jump anymore because it's a way too shallow. So that's a, that's a real bummer. So we were looking for another swimming spot nearby and um came out to this like pond like thing. It's called the Iron Lake, but it's more of a pond. It's definitely it's, a pond. It's uh, really, really like dirty, not dirty, but there's lots of like plants and stuff in it, so it's not really fit for swimming. There's like this, this is a failure for today. But it's pretty though. It is pretty, but we can't really go swimming. It's a bummer. It's our same day as our last failed expedition to the Iron, the Iron Lake. Um, this one's uh, much more successful, I guess. We're at this ice creek. Uh, it was probably about 15 minutes away from the last place, and it's a nice temperature. It's cool. I can't really jump off the bridge though. It's too shallow, and there's a bunch of trees. But I mean, it's nice to put your feet in. Nice temperature. So. I guess sort of a half success.
so we're just hiking back from this bridge that we found um, to jump off of. It was actually really awesome and we're very excited because it's been like several days of trying to find a good place and we finally found one. Um, yeah. yeah, we had a good time. We met this cool guy named Evan, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a good time. Now we just have to go back. Cutting it short because Nick's got to go to work, but... Got to climb up this big hill back to the parking yeah. lot. And we're definitely going to come back. Well, yeah, we definitely come back. It was awesome. from a few days ago, the creek, yeah, and uh, Roman decided to jump off the bridge into like five feet of water. It worked out, it was all right, it worked out pretty well, and it's a nice spot, a nice relaxation spot on the, the rushing water here, so, so that's good. Fine. Bye. to find a place to do some good swimming was pretty successful. I mean, for considering where we live, we found some pretty good places and we're gonna continue to look for even better ones and maybe we'll find them since we can't really go to the beach because of how crowded it is. But, you know, maybe we'll be able to find some places that won't be so crowded to swim. Yeah, this summer we're really kind of focusing on doing a lot of fun COVID-19 friendly activities. Um, so we're gonna keep at it, and if you would like to keep watching, feel free to give us a subscribe, like this video, and leave us a comment if there's something you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Bye, thanks for watching.